From the outside looking in, Clyde, Ohio might seem like any other small town. In this tight-knit community, everyone knows their neighbor, and football games and parades make headline news. Clyde is a place where all residents proudly call home. Many people choose to live in a small town for the warmth and security it offers. However, lurking in the shadows of our picturesque community is a villain. A villain we know as cancer. I'm okay with still living in Toledo because we don't know what's causing the cancer in Clyde and that does make me nervous as a parent and as a teacher. What is being done to restore the security of the carefree, innocent childhood a small town is supposed to offer? Uh, the APA has done a number of things. Uh, they've they've uh, set up air monitors uh, all over that study area. They've they've uh, they've monitored air in the evening. They've monitored it in the morning. They've monitored it at different times of day. Uh, they sampled water. They did all the all the uh, uh, creeks and streams and all the uh, drainages that go into the. Uh, into the water system in Clyde. They looked at the uh, rural water, they looked at the city water, they looked at everything to try to uh, identify some factor that might be waterborne and uh, hundreds of thousands of substances were looked at and uh, nothing really uh, came up. They've, they've done some soil sampling, um, they looked at dump sites, they looked at uh, a whole number of issues. Uh, what we did uh, beyond that is we decided we needed to look at um, uh, the possibility that radiation might be playing a, a, a part in this. Uh, there were no significant findings in school radiation. We were talking about soil, if they've, and, and because they do not know where, who, <laughs> we, we can't really blame anybody, we can suggest different places possibly, but in checking soil, um, I. I asked them, I said, um, all right, this is a good time now. The high school is, has a project where there's lots of dirt that's in a big pile. I said, have you checked? Have you checked the soil? This is, you know, dirt that's not just going to be a couple of inches under the surface, but feet that they've dug out. And they said, no, we don't really know what we'd be checking for. concerned about um, why all these students are getting cancer um, and the fact that there is no cure. You know, that's the biggest thing. As she stood in the window there in the dining room one day during the late spring, early summer, and she watched her friends across the street that she used to play with all the time get in the trampoline and jump. And I could just tell just the way she was holding herself and the way she was looking. I could just tell that she just so badly wanted to be outside playing. 
and knew she couldn't. That's what stands out in my memory. It bugs me to have to see my sister and me go through cancer because we're not our normal selves and we can't do every, anything we've done before. Yeah, if we didn't have the community support, I don't think we'd be sitting here, you know, in this house right now. So it's, it's just been a blessing that we've been around this community. We love it. I would like to see that they keep working on it. Um, don't give up. Keep trying to find um, the cause. And uh, I guess after a while, if they can't find the cause, then you know at least we know that they tried to do their best. And but we're really hoping that they find something. There is something in the environment that is affecting our kids. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know that they're doing enough until we know what it is. I feel that. Um, until we find out the reason that these kids are being affected, that they still need to continue to find answers for us. Um, it's causing a lot of fear in our community. When it comes to the point where our investigation concludes, we're not going to abandon the area and we would still welcome uh, any input, any tips that people might have. Is this enough? Sadly, our story is not yet concluded. We hope with more research and your help, we can find a way to fill these blank pages.